Hello, welcome to another video on the Discovery 2. I need to clean the camera. Damn it, no difference. Anyway, welcome to this other video. As you saw in the last video, we got a lot of rot in this wing. We've done the rot in the other wing. Um, so, we started the rot in this wing. So this is how it's going. Wheel line is out and then we've started cutting away. So we've cut out this bit and then there's some more around there. We'll cut that out. We've got to be careful at this area because it's right by the loom. and We don't want a repeat of last time. Also down there you would find the um, farmy crap that sets fire relatively easy. And you've got the loom up there. So this side's a bit more difficult. But we're going to have to use the Dremel with a little grinder on to cut that so we don't get the wires. And the same with that there. And then we've cut this patch out. So that patch will go up there. Like so. Like that. So once the uh, other bits of rust are cut out, chuck some rust treatment, <laughs> rust killer treatment type arrangement on there, and then weld that in. Ah, oh, the other thing that's been going on is masking off of these um, bumper end caps. I'm going to do these hockey sticks as well because they've been painted in the past and quite uh, orange peely and there's loads of like, chips on them. I don't know it, unless it's still. No, it's chips. There's loads of chips on them. So we're going to paint them and the bumpers. We've just smoothed off any of the scratches and the same on this side. Taped up all the lights and everything. This was quite scratched here. So that's all been smoothed off. So them will be painted, but we've got to um, order the paint. We haven't yet ordered the paint. So we'll order the paint and we'll get them done. And we'll get that arch welded in. As you know, this one's all sorted and the liner's back in. So that looks really good under there. Wheels are looking great as well. The, other, the last one's been cleaned. Don't know where it is. There's the old bumper. We'll keep these end caps because you never know when you get one with the smashed ones. Fog lights are gone. This one's all right. That one's had it. Uh, this bumper has got half decent fog lights in it. So anyway, that is what's happening now. Please continue to subscribe. I'm getting close to 2,000 subscribers, so please continue to subscribe. It helps us grow the channel. Right, so the um, welding has been finished. So it's all been welded up. It's all nice and strong. And it's just been painted with some under seal to stop it from rotting again. So that's that arch done. Next, it's onto the chassis. Hello, welcome back. You might hear somebody coming down the stairs singing. Sorry, because that's normally what happens when I turn this on. Start spraying the bumper. It's just been rubbed down um, and then painted. We're going to do a few coats on there and then put some clear coats on it. And just flick the camera. Up top there, we have taken um, the seal off and then we've um, rubbed it all back. There was no holes, luckily. It was just a bit pitted. And then we've put rust protection on it, uh, rust converter on it, and we've filled it. We're going to rub that down and then we'll paint that up the top of the screen then we'll tiger seal in the gap and tiger seal the seal back in and that should stop any rain this will start looking good as soon as it's had a couple of coats and it's got the clear coat on so we've got that done what else have we done oh we've done the um track track rod steering rod thing where is it down there it's brand new mm -hmm. that's been done um have we done anything else? Yeah, we've got the bump stops to go on. Yeah, bump stops have got to go on. And then we've got um, a new air filter. Put that in, that's in. Oh, air filter's in. So the air filter's in. And we've... Oh, there was one other... We did the actuator in this back door. We don't film it, unfortunately. We've just been too busy to film stuff, really. But no actuator in that door. And we've got one there. It's we've got one there. We've frustrated that. There was it, wore, it was starting to get a little perforated, but nothing major. Um, and it's got a patch welded on the back anyway. So... We've just filled that, we'll rub that down and paint it, we're just waiting for it to dry a bit more. So it's coming along pretty well. Um, we will film, we'll definitely film the rust being done on the chassis. We'll cut it out and we'll do a video on that because we have been doing many videos lately. Mm -hmm. um, so we will do a video on that. This one's also I've started getting a bit of paint on there. It's dry now. Yeah, these, these you can see here and the little holes to hold the, um, the little... Yeah. Uh, Protective things on. Fog light guards. Yeah, fog light guards and go on there. 
So it's a no really nice colour and the paint's coming out well. So yeah. we'll continue to paint. And then it's getting closer and closer to being finished. Yeah, we're just painting the bits under the lights as well because them, them was all um, stone chipped. They've been painted in the past then. So we've done them as well. But yeah, that's what's going on at the moment. Um, we, we're going to do the headliner as well. We have filmed the headliner. If you want us to do even more detail on the headliner, let us know and we'll do a video of every single screw that comes out. And we do need to do a video of us getting it out and getting it in because last time the GoPro didn't record us pulling it out of the car and getting it back into the car. So we'll do that. Cock up. <laughs> so much pain. I'm trying to just, um, we've got a little split that we've seen there that we do see when we was rubbing it down. Um, and he's tried to fill it with paint and he's <laughs> overfilled it. So now we're going to have to let it dry and we're going to have to rub that back to get rid of them ones. I'll go, back to this one, this one's okay. go back to the good side. That one's okay. So. These things happen. They do. They do. And it's going to need more coats anyway, so we'll just rub that down in the top corner. We'll just um, get some fine sandpaper, rub that out, but it's going to have to be completely dry before we do that. And then we'll have to go over it again. Um, and then clear coating. But. Yeah. What time is it? Half three. Half past three. You've seen all the patches we did on the last one down there. Um, look at the previous videos for the previous stuff done we have got this one to do but we have got the paint and i will show you a bit closer up here so you can see that's all been filled but it was um rubbed down and rust treated like i said and then filled and then we'll um blend that in so it's completely smooth and we'll try and blend the paint into the top of the roof um and then that will be sorted then it's just the interior off we trot We've got this hole here as well. That's the only hole in the body. So we've just got all the rust we can out of there. And then that'll be filled and... I'm gonna treat that in there. Put some, put some rust killer on that little bit of inner arch you can see inside there. It ain't hold or anything, but we'll put a bit of rust killer in there just to treat that. Then we can fill that, um, smooth it over, and put a bit of paint on, see if we can blend it in. And then that's another hole filled. This is the rust treatment we use. Um, we've had it a long time because there's a lot in there, but it just converts the rust into um, just a stable metal and then stops it continuing on. So if you put some of that on your rusty bits before you paint, it does take. It will be t tomorrow before that will be dry, but it'll turn black. Once it turns black, it'll be nice and solid, and then we can um, fill it. Wipe with rag. Done. Right. Now the rear wheel on the um, Discovery isn't the best and we don't want to spend time sort of um, refurbing one wheel that doesn't match the rest of the wheels and we can only get four of these. So what we decided to do, we've got this old um, wheel cover knocking about um, from Bush Wheel Land Rover, Wolverhampton, local. Um, this has come off one where we've replaced it or the wheel was good so we took this off. And we've decided to have a go at painting it body colour. So we've got some um, plastic primer. We're gonna, it's been sanded down, Daddy's now taping it up, take the Land Rover badge in the middle. It's a bit faded but it'll look alright. And then we're going to do the plastic primer, then we're going to paint it blue to match the colour of the car. And we'll see how it comes out and show you it being done. The wheel cover is done and on. You can still see the bush bush through it, but it don't matter. Looks much better than the old terrible looking one. So that's done. And we're getting closer and closer to finishing this car. You can see the bit we've just done down there. That's got to be sorted out. And we've got a little bit. We're doing along the top of the windscreen there. 
and then the steel has come so we're going to start the chassis in the next couple of videos we'll start doing the chassis for you and show you what that's like but that's looking pretty damn good at the back i think please like and subscribe and we'll continue making videos